everyone, this is Jamie with Jamie Rubase Photography. Um, I am kicking off Photoshop Fridays again, and I thought I would start with this really awesome tutorial. I actually shared it on the Click and Moms forum, and I got a lot of great feedback, so I thought I would start and share it with you, and hopefully um, this will help you with your editing. And what it is, is we are going to be taking care of localized color casts today. And this happens when you're shooting in a big green field, for those of you who have lots of green areas to shoot in. Um, if you have a big grassy field, sometimes you will get a yellowish color cast from the grass underneath of like chin areas um, and stuff like that. So this is um, also really helpful if you're a newborn photographer and you're dealing with a lot of like red blotchiness on your newborns this tutorial works wonders for that as well so I'm going to show you how we're going to do this and I brought in this photo here and I've done some basic edits to it already but if I zoom in here you can see underneath of her chin she has this yellowish um, cast from the grass that we want to fix and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to start by creating a hue saturation layer. And then I'm going to go, um, I'm going to pick my yellow um, color channel here. I'm going to take my first eyedropper tool and I'm going to select in the area of the color cast. And your color channel might change depending on what it's reading. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and take the dropper that has the little minus button and I'm going to click outside of that channel because I want to tell Photoshop that I'm just going to select whatever color is happening right here which is this color cast. I'm going to come back over here, I'm going to pull down my hue slider all the way down and when I do that you can see that it's only selecting certain areas of my image but I want to make adjustments to this so that it's just selecting the area that I want to fix. You'll also notice that it's selecting a lot of the areas in the background so we want to make sure once we make our adjustments that we mask off anything that we don't want um, to change. So what I'm going to do here is um, go down to the bottom two little rainbow sliders down here and I'm going to make these, I'm going to kind of play with these sliders until um, until it highlights just that area that needs to be corrected. So probably like right about there. So now we have um, just the areas that we want to fix on the skin and again there's some areas in the background here which we'll mask off but I have um, a good selection here to fix. So go back up to your hue slider and double click it to bring it back to zero. And if I bring the hue slider um, all the way over to the left you can see that it's um, bringing in some red or magenta tones. If I bring it to the right, it's going to change it to um, yellow or green tones. So what I want to do is pull down the slider to bring in some red tones to compensate for that yellow color cast that we're having underneath of there. And then um, you don't want to pull it down too much because then you'll start adding in some funky color. Like if I pull it all the way down here, you can see um, it's too much red. So I try not to go really above 10. And I'm going to pull down my saturation slider just a tad and then maybe just lighten it. And this is all just a matter of preference um, of what, how, it, how you want to make your adjustments. So just play with the sliders until you get it right. And then if I toggle on and off of my layer here, you can see if I toggle off, you can see the yellow tones underneath of her chin. And if I toggle back on, it's gone ahead and taken care of those for me. So the last thing that we need to do is go ahead and mask off um, the outer edges of my image here. So I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to get a black brush, and make sure that we're at 100%. And I'm just going to mask off this back area so that it's not affecting anything in my image that I don't want. And I'm just kind of going really quick here. And again, if I zoom in and I toggle off of that layer, you can see the yellow greenish um, color cast happening. And if I toggle back on, we've gone ahead and corrected that. And that's it. So hopefully you'll find this tutorial helpful for you. Thanks. Bye-bye.